If fundamentals are so important, then why do so many top boxers disregard them? Many fundamentals are strictly observed, like chin down, elbows in. What I'm wondering is, given the expectations of the fight, and even ones that are less noticeable, like staying relaxed and breathing. The ones that are overlooked are usually done so sporadically. Now I'm not talking about Roy Jones, who could do anything he wanted due to his superhuman reflexes. I'm talking about the rest of us. Jones came off the ropes when he got pinned there with some beautiful shots back at Tony. Oh, big left hook, and down goes Tony! Let's take Larry Holmes, for example. He found he could change directions faster when moving to the right if he cross-stepped as long as he was out of reach or putting a stiff jab at his opponent's face. Tone in the rear, and so there was a change of trunks in his corner. Wow. So why isn't this taught? It's because we don't have the reach, jab, or abilities of Holmes, and if we try to do so, we'll probably get caught off balance. Holmes also kept his left hand low and had some other unusual tendencies. Now they're yelling for Larry. They're yelling that, like the Ali chant, it's the Larry, Larry that you hear, which gives him a little extra psych and gets his something pumped up there anyway. But 90% of his game was fundamentally sound. So why the other 10%? It's because finding an edge at the higher levels involve developing skills that are unique and often unexpected. These skills are not fundamental because not everyone can do them. The basics are designed for anyone that steps foot in the ring, and drilling the basics is the key to good habits. I'm not saying you can't imitate Floyd Mayweather, but do so with a proper foundation. If not, you'll be found out real quick.